Ever wondered how tank turrets actually work, what powers the rotation, and how do the wires and electronics manage in a rotating box without snapping? Today, we delve into the world of military engineering to unravel these questions about an often overlooked technology. A tank turret, for those unfamiliar, is the rotating top section of a tank that houses the main gun and often secondary armaments. It's a marvel of engineering that combines mechanical, electrical, and sometimes even hydraulic systems, all working in harmony. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the mechanism behind these tank turrets, the power source that allows for the turret's rotation, and the clever solutions that allow wires and electronics to function flawlessly within this rotating environment. So, if you've ever been curious about the intricate inner workings of these armored beasts, you're in for a treat. Now that we know what we're going to explore, it's time to dive deeper into the mechanics of tank turrets. The key to understanding a tank turret lies in its mechanical design. The turret is a box that houses the main gun and the crew. This box is mounted on a ring that allows it to rotate, while the gun is mounted on a separate mechanism that lets it elevate or depress. The gun mount is the heart of the turret, holding the main gun in place and allowing it to move. It's connected to the traversing mechanism, which is essentially a set of gears driven by a motor. This mechanism turns the turret ring, causing the turret to rotate. The elevation system, on the other hand, is a combination of hydraulic systems and mechanical gears. It adjusts the angle of the gun, allowing it to aim higher or lower. These components work together seamlessly. They allow the tank to aim and fire at targets in almost any direction and at varying distances. So the mechanical design of a turret is a marvel of engineering, but how does it receive the power to rotate? The power to rotate a turret comes from a source you may not expect. Indeed, the heavy lifting is done by either electric or hydraulic motors. These motors are the unsung heroes, providing the brute force needed to move the huge and weighty turret. But it's not just about raw strength. Precision is key. The speed of the turret's rotation is critical and must be finely controlled. This is where the motors really shine. They allow for the turret's speed to be adjusted, ensuring swift response when needed and slower, more deliberate movement when accuracy is paramount. These motors are designed to withstand the intense conditions of battle, delivering reliable performance even in the most challenging circumstances. It's a fascinating blend of power and finesse, capable of moving tons of metal with surprising grace. This power source allows for smooth and controlled rotation, but how do the electronics and wires function without snapping in this rotating environment? No, you might think that wires and electronics would face a tough time in a constantly rotating environment, but tank engineers have thought of that too. Imagine a carousel. As it spins, the horses go up and down and the lights and music continue without a hitch. This is made possible by devices known as slip rings or rotary joints that allow electrical connections to be made and maintained during rotation. In the realm of tank turrets, these components function as the unsung heroes, ensuring that the wires do not tangle or snap amidst the constant rotation. They are like the silent conductors of an orchestra, coordinating the flow of current, ensuring the electrical components work seamlessly, and the turret performs its function without any electrical mishap. This thoughtful arrangement of wires and electronics, coupled with the power management and mechanical design, is what makes the tank turret an engineering marvel. So, that's how tank turrets work. A fine blend of mechanical design, power management, and thoughtful placement of wires and electronics.